Understanding how neural networks produce predictions remains a fundamental challenge. Consider this image classification model that takes an images as input and produces labels as output. In this example, the mountain bike image moves through the network and is correctly classified. However, in the following example, this bicycle is incorrectly classified as a truck. Existing work on interpreting neural network predictions for images often focuses on explaining predictions for single images or neurons. But predictions from state-of-the-art models are often computed based off of millions of weights optimized over millions of images. Such explanations can easily miss a bigger picture. We introduce Summit, an interactive system that scalably summarizes and interactively visualizes neural network feature representations for millions of images. Consider the white wolf glass that by itself contains hundreds of images. In Summit, we create attribution graphs by passing all the data through the network to determine the top activated neurons and influential paths. Attribution graphs tell us what features the network is detecting and how those features are related. The Summit user interface tightly integrates three coordinated views for interpreting deep neural networks' learned features and their relationships. In the main view of Summit, we visualize attribution graphs for entire classes. This view is completely panable and scrollable, so let's zoom in to one of the earlier layers of the network. Each vertex in the graph represents a neuron in the network. We show neurons using feature visualizations, synthetically generated images that maximize a specific neuron. For the white wolf class, this neuron appears to be detecting noses. We can confirm this by hovering over any neuron in the graph and showing examples from the dataset that maximize that neuron. Hovering over left to right on a specific neuron reveals different areas of the neuron's latent space. This layer has features to detect the left side of a dog face and the right side of a dog face. As we scroll up to go deeper into the network, we can see how the different low-level features combine to create higher-level features towards the output, such as this neuron that looks at white fur. Attribution graphs are completely dynamic. Users can adjust both the width and height of the graph, as well as filtering the neurons of a graph, to drill down to the most important neurons and their connections. In the top left of Summit, we see the embedding view, a dimensionality reduction of every class in this neural network model. Users can zoom and pan in this view as well. By zooming in, we can see what other classes are most related to the white wolf class. Underneath the embedding view is the class sidebar. This is a sorted list of all the classes in the model and is directly linked to the embedding view above. The class sidebar encodes all the classes of the model with a few high-level summary statistics, and can be sorted based on the best performing classes, the worst performing classes, or by class similarity. Users can also search for any class in the network. In the Inception 1 network here, there's 1,000 classes from ImageNet. Let's go to the Tench class, a yellow brownish fish. As we explore the Tench attribution graph, we see a lot of people part detectors, fingers, hands, and foreheads. It isn't until later layers where we see some neurons detecting brown and yellow types of fish. This is surprising because we wouldn't expect people to be an important feature for detecting fish. However, in the example images, we see the fish are typically being held by people and their fingers are in the frame, hinting that this model uses people to correctly classify tench fish from other types of fish in the network. Using Summit, users can make many discoveries like these by visualizing what features a network detects and understanding how those features are connected. To try Summit yourself, check out our open source demo in the link below.